Tuh. Sour Banane family, we see you, we honor you, and we value you. Your gifts, along with God's grace, allow us to persevere, to mentor, and prepare new leaders as we co-create for future generations. The Proctor Conference is where future meets legacy. We are committed to the forward crusade of faith, equity, and reparatory justice, nationally and globally. We are the place where Ubuntu becomes reality. Your gifts to the Legacy Campaign enables our success, our sustainability, and secures the future. With vision, by faith, and through action, we are the Proctor Conference. I'm so grateful that there is in this world something called the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. You've been on the wall doing the work Sister Iva Carruthers and so many others, you represent the best of our faith. You represent the faith of the black church, the conscience of the American churches. Thank you for the work that you do. Family, the time has come to work the roots. The roots of Sam DeWitt Proctor, Gardner C. Taylor, Pauli Murray, Bayard Rustin, and the list continues. As the mission of the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference continues to shape our ethos, and worldview. Join us today by committing an annual, one-time, or recurring gift to the SDPC Legacy Campaign. We pray that you and your loved ones have been and will remain the benefactors of God's grace and mercy. Thank you. Amen. Good morning and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference service of weekly prayer and song, the Proctor Prayer Dimmick. Today is Friday, March 4th, and whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful that you're with us for this Women's History Month. We would like to invite you to visit our website, sdpconference.info, and we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, and you can do so by texting SDPC to the number 84576. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to this service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909 318-7011. We just ask that you please silence your phones when you're calling in to listen to the prayer call. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Dr. Susan K. Smith. Good morning, everyone. And Sal Bonani, we see you, we, we hear you, we respect you. You are important to us and we are glad you're here on this first Friday of March in the year of our Lord, 2022. We give honor to God for the breath that we just took. Take that breath and give God thanks that you could do it. Um, we give honor to God and also to our founders, Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright Jr., the Reverend Dr. Frederick Douglas Haynes III, and the Reverend Dr. Iva Carruthers. So without God, first of all, and without them, we would not be here. You know what? I woke up this morning uh, with that song that we used to sing that the choir, the, the, the sanctuary choir used to sing, I will call upon the Lord. And I woke up this morning remembering how Jeffrey used to play that intro. And I thought, 
I always loved that song. And I always loved how it inspired me. It was just like, just a, a call to stand up for God, with God. And the choir sang that thing too. And I wanted us to understand today that we have power, that God is in us, God is over us, God is under us, God is with us all the time. Dun, 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 dun. And the song says, I will call upon the Lord for God, it said he back then, but God is worthy to be praised. The Lord liveth and blessed be the rock. And there's just something about those words that'll give you some energy, some spiritual, some emotional energy in this period of time when our energy is being drained in so many directions by so many people and by so many crazy things. So I just want you to think about that. The Lord liveth. I mean, it's like a mantra. The Lord liveth and blessed be the rock. And, 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 and I will call upon the Lord. Blessed be the rock of my salvation, your salvation, our salvation. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going to let nobody turn us around because the Lord is our rock. So you know, I have to forgive me. I was so inspired this morning that I even went to the piano and played it a little bit because it was just, it's just so energizing. And I think what we need now is energy for these times. Um, we are blessed this morning to have as our prayer warrior, Navanya Rhodes. Um, she is a servant of San Colfa United Church of Christ, where our own Reverend Derek Rice is the senior pastor. Her gift of prayer was inherited from her paternal great grandmother, Mama Minerva. Navanya also uses her gift as an actor to heal as a drama therapy specialist and entertain as she has made guest star appearances on shows like Black Lightning, The Oval, Green Light, Leaf, and more. For Navanya, acting is a natural reflection of spiritual faith, calling those things which be not as though they were. She loves God and God's people and is grateful for this moment to serve. And so we will be blessed by her prayer after we get our ministry of music from our own Wasaba Sidibe, Queen Wu. Um, after that, the next voice you will hear will be that of uh, Navanya Rhodes. We will call upon the Lord. Hear ye them. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty, Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, he is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, he is one. Oh, praises be to the King of kings and the Lord our God. He is wonderful. Oh, praises be to the King of kings and the Lord our God. He is wonderful. All praises be to the King of kings and the Lord our God, he is one. 
de faux. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God. He is wonderful. Good morning, God's people. I am Sister Nivanya, and I bring you greetings from Sankofa United Church of Christ in Atlanta, Georgia, where our senior pastor is Reverend Derek Rice. I am grateful to Jerry Wright for extending the invitation for me to be the appointed prayer warrior for this moment of prayer. And I am very grateful for the Proctor Conference for creating this space of prayer support. This prayer-demic is exactly the catalyst that we need to bring about healing, relief, and comfort in this pandemic that we are experiencing. So with that, let us pray. Oh, God, thank you for waking us up clothed and in our right minds. Thank you, God, that you are the great I am. Thank you, Lord, that you promised God to be with us, for us, and in us, oh God. Father, you said, if God be for you, who can dare be against you? You said, oh God, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And so, God, we thank you for the God in us that has called us to gather on this day, in this moment, to pray. God, you said the effectual and fervent prayers of the righteous avail much. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, make my prayers effectual and fervent for such a time as this. God, we find ourselves in this sacred moment during Women's Month, O oh God. And Father, there is a reality that no one can come into the world without coming through the womb of a woman. And so, God, we acknowledge and we celebrate the womb today, the space and place of life and creation, oh God. Father, we recognize that you spoke your word into the womb of darkness and the world became. And so, God, we thank you for the feminine divine, that which creates, that which comforts, that which counsels, oh God. Father, we find ourselves sitting at the feet of your mercy, yearning for you, O oh God, to step out of eternity into time to touch us in a very real way. We, O oh God, are lost without you. God, without you, we can do nothing, but with you, all things are possible. We thank you, O oh God, for the privilege of prayer, that which connects us to you, that we might stay connected to the vine, that we might find ourselves being fruitful, that we might be encouraged to remain faithful. As you said unto the disciples, I pray your faith not fail. And so God, I thank you that we'll not grow weary in our well-doing but we'll continue to keep our hands to the plow, O oh God, doing that good work, fighting that good fight, getting into good trouble. Thank you, O oh God, for the ones who have come before us, O oh Lord. Those women who have served as martyrs who paved the way for truth to be spoken to power. We bless you, O oh God, for the life of Sandra Bland, for the life of Rosa Parks, for the life of Coretta Scott King, and for all of the unnamed women, God, who stood on the front line, who got down in the dirt in the trenches, who carried the burden and the load of the community on their back and do it with smile and a rhythm, God, in their walk. We thank you, O oh God, even today for the men who love them, 
for the men who protect them, for the men, oh God, who call out and say that we must protect our queens. And so God, today we thank you for a reconciliation even in the body, oh God. Father, we thank you for the generations that are coming up behind those who are being fed and led by this prayer-demic, O oh God, those who see true believers crying out to a hearing God, a God who can perform, a God who brought us a gospel, not just of talk, but of power. And so, God, we thank you for your power falling fresh, O oh Lord, on this new generation. Father, we believe, therefore we speak. We speak, oh God, that we are nothing without you, oh God. Thank you, Father, for a Penuel experience that we might see you face to face. Thank you, God, for being Emmanuel, God, with us. Thank you, oh Lord, for the prayer warriors who constantly seek your face while you might yet be found. For those, oh God, who send up timber to heaven so that our movement might not stop that which thirsts for righteousness and pursues justice and loves that which God loves. Father, I thank you for your word that says you're angry with the wicked all day. And I thank you, God, that when the plumb line is drawn, we'll be standing on the right side of the plumb line. We've come to acknowledge you, O oh God, in all of our ways so that you can direct our path. We've come to get a pouring in of your spirit, God, so that we might pour out into our communities, into our homes, into our workplaces, O oh God. Father, we are a walking epistle that demonstrates that God is. And so we thank you, O oh Lord, we bless you, we honor you, we reverence you, we adore you, oh God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Father, many times we are so consumed with how much we love you that we fail to remember how much you love us. And so God, in this sacred moment, we bask in your love and acceptance. We receive as true that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We count it an honor, O oh God, to be called your own. We belong to you and you belong to us. And God, it is sweet to belong to the King. So, O oh, King of kings and Lord of lords, El Shaddai and Elohim, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, be, O oh God, all that we stand in need of. As you said unto Moses, say unto us today, I am that I am. So whatever we need, God, you are that. Relief, O oh God, from this coronavirus crisis. Relief, O oh God, from the brutality and, and injustice that we witness. Relief, O oh God, from the hostility and poverty, God, confusion and suicidal spirits, that which causes us, O oh God, not to be our brother's keeper. Everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, O oh Lord, be an Obadiah and deliver us in this moment. Be a Messiah and save us, O oh God, even from ourselves. Father, we thank you for being faithful even when we are not. You are the God of all ages, the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. And we know, O oh God, that if we stay connected to you, then it shall be well. In Jesus' name, amen. With my hands lifted up, 
and my mouth filled with praise with the heart of thanksgiving i will bless thee O lord i will bless thee O church say amen what a blessing queen wasaba is her voice is just precious and the prayer by sister novanya um, just what a blessing i mean what a wonderful way to end the week we give god thanks for both of them this morning we come now to the our opportunity to invest. We want you to invest in the work of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And we are asking that you invest to our leg in our legacy fund, um, working the roots. We have got to work the roots and we are asking everyone that, that who is interested in our work and who has been helped by our work and who knows we can help so many more uh, to invest in this fund. You can do it by visiting our website, sdpconference.info slash legacy fund, or you can go on Givelify and look for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And I keep wanting to a meeting, I guess, to remind you that when you invest, when you invest, you get something back. What you give out, you get back. You give love, you get love. You give happiness, you get happiness. You give, you give, and it is coming back to you. And the work that we do is helping not only people in the United States, but all over the world. So we hope that you will make this investment and encourage your friends and family to do the same. We have a whole lot of work to do. We might have a whole bunch more to work to do due to the political atmosphere that's in our country right now. So it's time to get on up and help us do what we have been called to do. Well, that comes brings us to the end of this uh, service of song and prayer for this first Friday in March. I am so glad. We are so glad that you're here. Um, and as we're leaving, I want to 
uh, to read just a couple of lines from a, of a poem from Dorothy Cotton, written by Dorothy Cotton. This is Women's History Month, and for me, it's always Black History Month. So Dorothy Cotton was a director of education for the SCLC, and then she formed citizenship schools, and she wrote this poem. And in this poem, the spirit of God is talking, and it says, you are anointed by my spirit. Know this. You are infused with my spirit. You will know love. You will show love and cause it to stir in all that you encounter. When you feel unclear, just hang in there. I will light your way. I will give you clarity of purpose. I will guide you to where your skills are needed, imprinting on the minds and hearts of those you touch. You will gain the spirit of love, the ability to see those you touch, an openness to great and healing values, they will be yours to share. I will remove walls of hatred and intolerance. A new era will arise, a new country will appear. You will be called to let your light shine, showing others the way forward on this journey, this blessed journey. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Love you guys. Glad that you're here with us this week. We will see you next week. Bring somebody with you. Have a good week. Take a deep breath. Thank God for the breath that you just took and have a, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye-bye.